neck on t-shirt. Well, here it is. Zarek, the Silent King. Is this the best Necron miniature ever? It's time to unbox it. And it's coming right up. Necrons! Nick speaking and welcome to this video. And if you're new to the channel and you want to learn about Necrons and more, then please subscribe and hit the bell button to turn on all notifications so you don't miss an upload. Okay, so it's Necron time and as a dedicated Necron channel, well this is a very exciting time indeed. I've got all of the new Necron toys, including some dice which have fallen over as well as making videos on all of the toys that we've got coming or that we've had, things like building, painting, converting and magnetising videos, which I've got all in the archives, I'm going to be doing a full review of the rules for this awesome new Necron Codex. But this video is all about the Silent King, and is this the best Necron miniature that we've ever had? It's time to find out. Okay, here we go. Zarek the Silent King is here at last. And I am really looking forward to opening this box. I believe I read it was 115 pieces, so it's going to be a big kit. Of course, the awesome picture on the front and on the back we have another one-to-one -one ratio uh, picture. So this is the size of the miniature. However, the base is angled forward like it's on a table, so it's not flat, so it's a bit deceptive on the actual size. Uh, but it's going to be pretty much this size. And then we've got the basic instructions here. Clip, paint, play. Nothing about gluing or scraping the mould lines off, but at least it's not push fit. Uh, so on that note, let's get my knife ready and open this awesome box. We know it's going to be awesome. So let's very carefully open this box. Ooh. I don't know how careful that was. It's okay. It's okay. The king can cope. Hope you've been enjoying I hope you've been enjoying the Necron videos. I'm trying to open it without taking the cellophane off, which is not good. Right, cellophane off. And here we go, get rid of that. So, I wonder how many sprues we are going to have. Let's open it. I wonder if it's got one of those slidey inserts. I think it might have. Yeah, I'd be cool if we got some uh, nice artwork with it inside the box, wouldn't that? Well, we get the instruction book, which is uh, a vast improvement on what they used to be. And obviously, the coloured pictures and the usual building instructions. I suppose we should have a look at this quickly first. Some nice big chunky parts there, which is good. Looks pretty. Simple, I suppose, in, in some ways. I think as long as you follow the instructions, you should be able to uh, get it all together. The key thing, I think, is to work out which bits you need not to glue on so that you can paint it. Because sometimes you put it all together, you can't paint it. Okay, and then obviously you've got the two shield things there. So it doesn't look overly complicated, to be fair. Nice chunky bits. And here are the sprues. So, I'll tell you what we'll do is we'll take one out at a time. All right, smooth that over. Okay, so, wow, this looks awesome. We know, obviously, that these here are supposed to be black stone. I'm still unsure how I'm going to paint them. They are a little bit smaller than I thought they were going to be, but uh, the detailing is fantastic. I'm actually looking forward to working out how I'm going to paint my blackstone. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to paint it like GW say or come up with my own scheme yet. And we've got obviously 
As I said, they're quite big, nice, chunky bits, which I think will help keep the model as a solid model. Obviously, we don't know about the stands. I mean, we've got these these sections here. I'm just feeling them. Oh, they're very sturdy. I know they're in the on the sprue, but that is one solid piece of plastic, which is what you're going to need if they're going to be standing on these. Oh wow, yeah. That's pretty solid plastic. It's a very solid kit. Okay, let's get another sprue out. And imagine we've got some duplicates. This Games Workshop are quite clever at that. If you look at the Tesseract vault, basically four sides are exactly the same. And yeah, we've got to duplicate uh, one of these. So two of those. And then, what else have we got? And then a third sprue. So it's three sprues altogether. Right, this is the Cape of Controversy. <laughs> yeah, the uh, Silent King's Cape. Some people are saying they don't like it. Personally, I think it's really, really cool. I'm liking it a lot, but um, I can see why some people don't like it. I think their they're thinking is they want to have the Silent King come out and maybe go onto a normal base. Well, I suppose you could have a, a base which would cope with the cloak, like maybe some rocks. You could be standing on some rocks with the cloak coming down on a normal base. So that would be maybe an idea. I'm going to probably look at maybe magnetising it, but maybe more for storage, I think, probably more than anything. Not really sure. I'll probably make a build video. If you would like to see a build video, then let me know in the comments box below. I'm quite pleased, actually, that the Blackstone pieces, which, from the picture, these seem massive, these big Blackstone pieces, but... Uh, they're actually quite small, which means I think they're going to be a bit easier to paint because obviously this here, just keep getting this out, this is all airbrushed. I don't own an airbrush, but I want mine to look really cool. I'll probably just dry brush it, to be fair, um, and have like this highlight all over. I'm not really sure, I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do, but um, yeah, less blackstone than I initially thought, which I think is quite good. Now we've got the little Catan. He is smaller than you think as well. He's pretty small. These models always seem much bigger, don't they, until you actually get them. I mean, it's still a big model, but I don't know. I just thought it was going to be bigger. Now, obviously, this Catan here doesn't have any rules. Uh, we are, of course, going to make a video, a separate video about the rules of this, this guy um, and some in-depth tactical videos as well in the future. But so yeah, the Catan doesn't really have any rules. He's basically just powering the chair. I think that's um, what he's supposed to be doing. Uh, we've got the staff. It's a very cool staff, very long staff. And again, this plastic's really strong. I don't know if it's because I'm just used to that Indomitus plastic, which is definitely a lower grade plastic than, than this. I'm thinking or I'm wondering if the new Warriors um, which are coming, which are push fit, whether they're the same plastic as in the Indomitus set or whether they're using the higher quality plastic for the non Indomitus Warriors. I'd be quite interested to find out. I might buy some more because, I mean, 60 Warriors, why not? I've got 60 with the uh, old Flayers and then I might as well have 60 with the Reapers. Why not? And obviously then I've got my old metal warriors as well. Anyway, this video is not about warriors, it's about this guy, <laughs> the Silent King. Right, let's have a look at these bases. So, that is base, and those are the two. I'm gonna try, I think they're called Manher, Menhers, stones on the side. It's going to take quite a big space up. It's obviously, it's not a particularly wide model like the Vault, so it's going to be probably, yeah. <laughs> obviously, I need to build it, and then, of course, we will do another video showing you when it's all built. Like I said, if you're interested, I might make a building video too. And to answer my question of, is this the best Necron model ever? Well, obviously, it's hard to tell with just the sprue, but I think it's going to be very close because look at this, it does look awesome. I do really like it, I must admit. So yeah, 
I think I will say it is the best Necron model ever. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments box below. So a pretty cool model, right? But do you think it's worth the £95 that Games Workshop sell it for? Let me know in the comments box below. And if you want to see some of my other videos regarding the new Necron release, then check out that playlist just there. Beam me up.